What's going on, everybody? Um, this is Sports Gaming Channel. Today, I'm going to do a review on MLB The Show 23 for the PlayStation 5. Um, you know, for more videos, um, make first of all, make sure you hit the like button. And also, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more gameplay and everything like that. I'm going to start getting into commentary, doing certain reviews on um different games but today i'm gonna do a review on mlb the show 23 now all in all the mlb the show franchise it's a very very good game it's a very good franchise very good good game good game to play it's a lot of fun not sitting there saying that it's not a whole lot of fun it, it is a whole lot of fun to play here is my gripe with this it is basically the same game for the last three years okay the same graphics the same thing and I'm not knocking that I'm not saying that it's the worst game out there it's the worst game ever but I do have a little bit of gripes number one the cost you should not have to pay a hundred dollars to get the game released three days early you shouldn't be paying seventy five dollars to play uh, to, uh, to play this game because at the end of the day to me is basically a recycled version of the last couple of years exception for the score graphics in the, in, the, in the graphics package the scoreboard graphics and everything but other than that it's the same game now i'm getting i haven't played the negro leagues yet i must play the negro leagues um soon and i'm gonna do a review on that on a negro league negro league play mode but just presentation wise it, it just you know now the national i missed the mlb network thing i wish they could have kept the mlb network or they could have licensed it with fox tbs i think they could have done that you know make it a fox broadcast fs1 or something or just kept it as mlb network i don't know if mlb network lost their license or something like that but that would have been better i like the regional um intro the the regional intro i like that very good like you got the show pittsburgh mlb to show boston mlb to show chicago good love that very decent here's my problem you have announcers john shambi and chris singleton i have no issue with that but if you're doing a regional game with that specific team, should that announcer be geared toward that specific team? Because if you're playing a national broadcast and you're playing a regional broadcast, the commentary sounds the same. I don't hear them saying the show Northeast, the show Pittsburgh. I don't hear that. And that's where I have the issue with. You know, that that's what I have the issue with. So to me, it's like, Okay, got the regional thing right, but we could use different commentary for different teams. Now, as far as the commentary goes, it's basically the same commentary as last year to me. I don't see any difference. They might have added a few extra lines in there, but it is the same commentary as it was last year. Okay, I recently played the game earlier, and I hit a walk-off home run. The announcers didn't get excited. It was like, okay, it was like, it was bland, gone, home run, ball game. My thing is, when you get NBA 2K23 and NBA 2K2... NBA 2K series has been good at this 
you at least you have those announcers that are hype in big moments. In this game, it seems like in big moments, the announcers are not as hype. The announcers are not as excited. Now, you might have certain moments, but it's just, it's not good. My thing is, I was cool with Matt Thatch What I wasn't cool with was they didn't record any new lines for the last three or four years. And if you hear Matt Thatch in the game, and didn't hear Matt Thatch in the real game, it's like, it's two different people. And I'm like, you couldn't get Matt Fastgersian to record exciting plays, exciting catches, exciting game-winning home runs. If they add that element in the game, that game will be, it'll look more realistic and it will be more exciting to play. Like I said, the gameplay is exciting. It's a good gameplay. The game is good. But it shouldn't cost $75. It shouldn't cost $100. What should have happened is it should have been, all right, Release MLB to show 22. Update that to 23. So if you have MLB to show 22, all right, if you want to update show 23, make it $20. If you already have MLB to show 22. Because a lot of people buy, buy the, the update the game every year by buying the upgraded version. You don't need to come out with a game every year if you're not going to make any major changes to it. And that's how I've always felt about that. It's just like Matt. Matt and it's the same thing every year. It's just a graphics package, graphics scoreboard. Basically, that's what it is. Why make a new installment if the graphics are still the same? Just update it. And then, all right, you know what? Every one or two years, we're going to come out and make a new game, and we're going to put our time, and we're going to put our effort into this. There was no effort put into the graphics. All they did was just updated the scoreboard, as you see on the bottom right-hand screen, and made a regional version. Basically, that's a $20 upgrade, and they added a Negro League story to it. That's it. So... My thing is, all in all, I'll give it a seven and a half to an eight because the game is good, but I wanted to see more. I, I just wanted to see more, you know. You don't have a sideline reporter. You have only one set of announcers. They could have added more in there because in other games you have two, three sets of announcers. Add these announcers in there, make the game look um, look real. That's what I'm saying. But let me tell me what you think about this. Tell me how do you like this game? Is it a game that you, if you don't have yet, are you considering to buy it? Or are you going to stick with 22? Or are you going to sit this one out? Tell me what you think of it. Like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.